So as you guys know, two of the most popular music Discord bots have been taken down by YouTube, Rhythm and Groovy. And the reason for why they got taken down is because when you use commands to play music or videos, there's no ads and YouTube isn't making money. So then YouTube sent a cease and desist letter to Rhythm and Groovy and they got taken down and you can no longer use those bots. But what if I told you, you can make your own music bot. Okay, well not really make one because you're gonna have to download something. So there's gonna be like no coding required for this. And yes, I know there will be more music bots, but eventually when those bots get popular, YouTube will then take take down those bots too and then they'll just keep on going on over and over until there will be no music bots ever on discord so without further ado let's just hop right into this all right, so we are on Google and I prefer Chrome for this because Chrome is like easier to download stuff But the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna search discord Developer portal or just discord dev portal for short and then you're gonna find this link so then click this Then it will take you to this page then click applications and then you might have to sign in, but I'll just do it anyway for the video. So once you're done signing in, it will take you back to regular Discord. So just research Discord developer portal and then just go back to the first link. And then go to applications. And then there you go. Now you're in your applications. And you guys can see I have made some bots for testing purposes. Not for this video. So next, guys, what you're going to do is you're going to press new application. And then you can name it whatever you want. So I'll just name it Sassy Gangster Music Test. Tech, te test. Okay, there we go. And then create. All right, so once you make the application, you will appear on this page. And in general information, you can change the name and an app icon. Also, there will be an application ID, but that will be saved for later in the video. So I'm gonna add an app icon, but it's not really necessary, but I'm just gonna do it for the video. Okay, let's just have it as that for now. So next, save changes. Well, save changes if you've done anything here. So next, go to bot. And then when you're on the bot page, it'll say bring your app to life on Discord with a bot user. So then this add bot button will actually make a bot for you. So then press add bot. And then it'll say add a bot to this app then press yes do it and then a wild bot has appeared okay and your bot has been made so my bot is called sassy gangster music test and this is the icon and yes yeah, so let's go on to the next step all right so next guys you're gonna go to this github page i will put the link in the description below so you guys don't have to type it out and stuff so just click the link in the description and you guys will come here all right guys so this program here this will turn your bot into a music bot all right guys under releases press the latest version and mine is version 0.3.5 next it should take you to a page that looks like this and as you guys see there is some files on here but no don't do anything yet because we have to download something else first so open a new tab and search java next press the first link or just make sure it's www.java.com so just press that and then once you're on the right page press java download right here and mine is 64 bit java for windows because my computer is 64 bits and next press a green start free download next in the corner of your screen it will start downloading if you're using chrome all right so once it's done downloading if you guys can't find it just open file explorer and then go to downloads and then it should be right here so next guys just open it and then a thing will pop up but just press yes okay and then a java setup window will pop up so then press install and then yeah it will start installing all right it's just about finished come on and there we go okay i got an error saying out of date java versions detected keeping out of j blah 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 whatever just not now if you guys have an older version of java it will be uninstalled but whatever so then press next and then after it will say you have successfully installed java so then press close next guys so go back to the github page and then under assets press jmusic bot dash which version you have dot jar so mine's right here and then just press it and then it will say the type of file can harm your computer it's because windows thinks jar files are dangerous but don't worry guys this is safe so then press keep all right, it's just giving a while to process and verify that it's not a virus. Any day now, come on. Oh, it finally finished. So next, guys, press the three dots on Chrome, and then go to Downloads. And then over here, JMusicBot is right here. So then drag Chrome over here, and then just drag JMusicBot to your desktop. Next, double-click it, and then it will say, please provide a bot token. So guys, next, go back to your Discord developer page, and then under Token, you guys can click to reveal it, but I'll just blur it out for the video. So guys, next, press Copy, and then back to your desktop where it says JMusicBot paste in the bot token then press ok all right guys so if it says owner id was missing go to discord then press user settings next go to advanced and then make sure developer mode is on next guys go to any server that you have and then where you find your account just right click and then press copy id so then you have copied the id of your account which is the owner id next guys go back to j music bot and then paste the id of your account and then press ok next it will start and then it will get a config file and in console it just shows how much of code and stuff it will also show commands people use you can't really do anything here so just leave it to the side i guess for now oh yeah i forgot to add this in the video so i'm just gonna record it after and then put it in so to actually have the bot online you actually have to have this console open at all times so once your j music bot looks like this with like a lot of code go back to chrome and then search discord bot 
invite just like that then press bot invite discord or just any link that invites a bot then it might show up with like a random bot like server stats so then go back to your discord dev portal and then under general information copy the application id and then go back to the bot invite and then under client id remove the number and then place it in your id so once the bot id is pasted in press enter all right guys and then yeah it will add the bot for you so then you can add a server so i'm gonna make my own for this video all right so bot test has been made and then go back to the bot invite and then under add server press the server that you want and then press continue and then you can add your bot and then yeah send messages manage channels blah 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 then press authorize and then i am human and then go back to your server and sassination music test has joined the party and you're basically done so let's just join a vc and then under the bots profile it says type at sassination music test so this is actually the prefix for your bot so we can do uh play um let's just find a free non-copyright audio on youtube uh youtube.com not copyrighted background music okay uh free non-copyrighted background music uh Sure, let's just use this. And then you can paste your link. And then enter, and then it joins. And as you can see, all right, let me just change the volume of the music. I don't want it to be too loud. And as you can see, the bot actually joined, and you guys can actually play songs. And you can also do at session music test, and then you can do skip. Also, you guys can do at your bot name, and then you can do help, which actually gives you a list of commands to do. Okay, so now the song is playing again, and then you can actually at your bot and then press stop, which will stop the queue, and then the bot will leave. But if you guys don't like pinging the bot every time, you guys can actually change the prefix. And on your desktop, this config file if you open it and scroll down you can actually change the prefix so here i i can change it to like rhythm so i'll just do exclamation mark and then exit and then save okay so once you change it close your j music bot and then reopen it all right so once it's unloaded up go back to your bot and then exclamation mark play and then we can paste on music again and then, yeah you joined and there we go it's playing but the sad thing is it is not like rhythm kind of because rhythm you can do exclamation mark p and skip and stuff but this one you actually have to type out the whole word so like play skip stop stuff like that but other than that this program that makes the bot into a music bot is actually really good and since the bot is private only for you or your friends youtube cannot take it down and yeah that's basically it for this video so like subscribe turn on notifications leave a comment today and i'll see you guys until the next video